Today we will study about the role of macrophages in chronic inflammation. We know that macrophages are the dominant cells of chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is characterized by infiltration by leukocytes, damage of tissue and fibrosis. And in all these three processes, macrophages have a role to play. We will discuss in detail about this in today's lecture. Let's begin by studying about the source of macrophages. So from where are macrophages derived from? Macrophages are derived from bone marrow or from embryonal yolk sac and liver of fetus. In bone marrow, there are progenitor cells called as hemopoietic stem cells, which give rise to monocytes. So monocytes arise in bone marrow. From there, they reach to blood, where their half-life is one day. When they reach the tissue, they are called as macrophages, where they reside for months to year. Du months to years during inflammation, they reach the extravascular space within forty-eight hours, and this e this happens via the cell addition molecules like selectins and integrins, which we have discussed in our earlier lectures. So, activated macrophages of inflammation of the skin and intestinal tract are derived from bone marrow and there are some resident tissue macrophages which reside in liver, in lungs and brain. They are derived from progenitors in yolk sac and fetal liver. So the macrophages of liver are called as Kupffer cells, of lung are called as alveolar macrophages and of brain are called as microglia. So what are the functions of macrophages? Macrophages have are microbicidal. They are called as professional phagocytes also. They have a role in tissue repair. They secrete cytokines like tumor necrosis factor and interleukin 1 and they present antigens from bacteria or from foreign substances to T lymphocytes. To play a role in chronic inflammation, they need to be activated and there are just two pathways for activation of macrophages. First is classical macrophage activation pathway and second is alternative macrophage activation pathway. So let's begin by studying about classical pathway. So classically they are activated either due to endotoxins or due to interferon gamma or particulate matter and crystals. So endotoxins are derived from microbes. We all know that an interferon gamma from T lymphocytes. Endotoxins interact with toll like receptors and activate the macrophages. These classically activated macrophages, they begin producing nitric oxide and reactive oxygen species and these chemical mediators they increase the ability of macrophages to kill the microbes and to secrete uh, certain cytokines which have a role to play in inflammation so how is these chemical mediators nitric oxide and reactive oxygen species increasing the ability to kill the microbes they do so by upregulating the lysosomal enzymes and we know how active these lysosomal enzymes are. If excessive, they start damaging the normal tissue also. First, this classical macrophage activation pathway is initiated and later on alternative macrophage activation pathway is initiated. So now we will discuss about the alternative macrophage activation pathway. This alternative macrophage activation pathway, it inhibits the classical macrophage activation pathway. And this alternative macrophage activation pathway, it is responsible for repair of tissue by inducing angiogenesis, that is blood vessel formation, by causing collagen synthesis and by activating the fibroblasts. So how does, how does this happen? This happens by secretion of cytokines like interleukin-4 and interleukin-13 from T lymphocytes. That's all about the role of macrophages in chronic inflammation. Next, we will discuss about the role of lymphocytes in chronic inflammation. Thank you.